In this demo, we'll look at the mapping feature. So we've already mapped a weed called tufted vetch. Um, now that we've created a bit of a profile, we've added pests, insects, disease, and weeds to our profile that makes mapping more efficient. So if we don't create a profile, then we're having to scroll through all the different pests in the uh, pest manager database. Now we can narrow it down by disease, insects, or weeds, but there's still a fair amount of species in there as you can see on the screen. So again, one of the benefits to adding a profile is it's customized for you. It's only those pests that you run into on a regular basis. It makes mapping all that easier because you can just go in and uh, look at your profile and select from there. So in this case, maybe I want to map white mold. And so I can look uh, again at the profile and, and ensure that it is white mold. I can make some notes about white mold in that field. So for example, maybe this, this field has a history of white mold and I want to characterize that um, so that I can go back and, and be remembered of that next year, the year after, and so on. And so uh, I can add those notes in and then I can simply drop the pin in this field. You'll notice now that white mold is a yellow pin drop. So all diseases are yellow pin drops and they have a unique identifying code. Um, we can select other pests as well. Um, and again, this is the value of the profile where we could now drop in insect pests. Um, and so you'll see there I've dropped in bean leaf beetle. And I can choose to add in uh, other pests. I can zoom in on that field. And uh, you'll notice that the accuracy isn't like incredibly accurate. It's probably accurate within feet and meters, but not certainly inches. It's just to give you a general ballpark. But again, we can uh, uh, drop other pests. So in the case of insects, they always show up as a red pin drop with a unique code. So weeds are green, uh, diseases are yellow, and insects are red. And now we have a field where we've characterized those three pests and we have a record of it so that we can go back year after year and, and see if we're having impact on those pests or they're showing up on a regular basis and if our management activities are actually helpful. So that's the mapping feature of Pest Manager. You can add as many maps as possible and you can then even share the map. Uh, you can email it to uh, a colleague or an advisor and it's saved as a PDF file so it makes sharing very easy. So that's the mapping feature of Pest Manager. Now let's look at control options.